Hi everybody, it's Highland Gamer here, back with another episode of FIFA 21 Career Mode with Manchester United and on World Class Difficulty setting. Um, so just before we get going today, usual reminders that um, to make sure you don't miss any future content, um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell, that way you'll get that notification whenever um, any new videos land on my channel. Um, as a favour to me, I'd love it if you could give it a wee thumbs up um, if you're enjoying the video, that way I know that you're enjoying it as well. And I'd love to hear your feedback, let me know what you think, uh, what you think of the videos, um, or if you want to sort of say anything about potential transfers that I should look into, formations, that sort of thing. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll of course get back to you. Um, and the last thing as well is for anyone that does want to catch up, this is season 2. Um, the link to the playlist um, which all these videos from season 1 to season 2 and any future seasons um, they all get put into the same playlist and that the link to that playlist is in the description box just below uh, so you can go ahead and check them out and again feel free to leave comments or anything you wish as well um, so we're gonna go and have a look at the season first of all uh, the calendar um, so that's last month so it was a busy old month uh, we won all but one of our games, which we ended up drawing, but the performances, especially those last two or three games, weren't particularly good, so that's a bit of a concern. Um, but then I guess there was a lot of games in sort of short space of time. That was, what, four games in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four games in 11 days, so maybe that had something to do with it, I guess. Um, but regardless, we got through it now. Um, and now we're going to play Bristol in the uh, FA Cup. Um, this is the squad I'm going with. As you can see, it is um, hugely different. Uh, a lot of the talent has been taken out. Martial Greenwood as my two main strikers, James on the wing, and uh, Wan Pasaka and Dest playing. Though Dest is actually looking a bit tired, I might actually have a look at that. Um, and McTominay van der Beek. Um, but then, and Salazu and Toons Abbey. So um still good names. Uh they've get into um sort of a lot of uh, sides, um some of them, but not the likes of Pogba, Fernandez, Haaland and Bappy, those sort of players. Um just let me have a look so if I've got someone to replace Dest with real quick. I do actually I'm gonna put in Divine in his place and because uh, he is looking a bit tired and I'm going to see actually if I've got anyone for wan Saka as well so a left back or a right back real quick <clears throat> excuse me oh Luke Shaw's actually looking pretty well rested so in fact no I'll put in there you go so that's who we're going with to start um to start this game so guys, not going to talk about it any longer, um, I'm just going to get straight into the game.
Well guys, that was um, pretty basic and straightforward, but that's fine, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, yeah, I just wanted a nice simple game to get through to the next round, and that's exactly what's happened. Um, so now let's go ahead and get ourselves ready for uh, the uh, League Cup game against Chelsea. Okay then guys, so it's now uh, game day uh, for the... Uh, semi-final I think it is um, yeah it's semi-final in the uh, League Cup versus Chelsea and this is the squad that I'm going for so obviously I'm not playing the weaker team that I played in the last game Chelsea is a bit of a step up from uh, Bristol no offence any Bristol fans out there um, so I've gone basically for what you'd expect the same sort of lineup as always and uh, yeah uh, similar with the bench as well and hopefully these guys will get the job done um, but yeah that's enough talking um, again and let's get straight into the uh, uh, Carabao Cup game
Well, although I won, um, I'm actually a wee bit disappointed with that. Their keeper kept them in that game. You know, that could have been 5, 6, 7, 1. Um, you know, how if you were to go back and look at that game, look at how many good saves their keeper made there. Um, hopefully it won't be able to do that in the second leg. But um, yeah, you know, after all those saves he made, all those missed opportunities, and then they go up and get a goal to make it an interesting second leg. So uh, um, it'll be a top, top team that I've got to out for the second leg then. Um, if I'd taken my chances and I'd won, like, scored an extra three or four goals, then I could have put out a slightly weaker team. But it is what it is, um, and we'll, we'll move on. Okay, guys, so it's match day, and um, we're playing Swansea. I'm not changing the team around. No need to change the team. There's no one that tired. Um, subs should be the same. I'd imagine and they are the same, so that's fine. Um, we've not had a look at the table today, so we'll go and have a look at that just now. There you can see uh, we're second in the league, one point behind uh, Spurs, um, equal on points on Liverpool, and uh, Man City just a wee bit further behind on 43 points. Um, so yeah, um, definitely ought to play for, um, very tight league, uh, again, which is good for you guys and for me, um, makes the game good fun to play. But guys, um, uh, that's enough talking for now. Um, let's just think about, uh, the game and let's get into it.
Okay, guys, so it's a funny old uh, game, isn't it? Um, just put all, so many of my chances away with ease. Um, <laughs> it just... I, I hate to say it, it was almost too easy. Um, didn't find it challenging. Um, disappointed I obviously conceded a goal, but... Um, yeah, seven goals like that. Um, and that's not bad for the goal difference at all and you can see the goal difference now i mean 62 goal difference 97 goals scored in the league at this stage of the season is just crazy shame that i've uh conceded 35 which is a lot more than anyone else around me apart from ever and it's equal with them but um as yeah, i said um i think in season one um, you know that I knew I wouldn't be that good defensively um, so it was a case of me making sure that I just outscored the uh, opposition <laughs> well this team's managing to do that most of the time isn't it so I can't complain there um, but I just want to bring your attention to this now I know that recently I've been um, editing the videos differently and you've not been seeing as much but um, it's just I, I let you see things that are more important for you to see and this is fairly important um, not so much Rashford saying that he's happy with the game time. I mean, that's great. I'm proud of you. This is important. So Real Madrid are wanting to offer me £126 million pounds, uh, for Anthony Martial. Now, this is an interesting one, guys, because I don't know if I need him. He's not scored that many goals in the league. In fact, let's have a look. Um, if we go top scorers in the league you know you've got Mbappe up there um and Haaland both play 22 games 31 and 25 goals respectively Fernandez up there 22 games nine goals I know that's a lot less but he's a midfielder so that's all right um Pogba is up there now 21 games he scored seven Greenwood uh, 14 games and scored seven so that's good that's a good return and he's come back out of it but uh rashford is probably 22 games and he scored seven as well um he doesn't even appear on the list um and he's had i think a decent amount of games and for assists he's not appearing either i wonder can i go into um what hub would it be? Is there some? Um, I don't know if there's a way for me to see um, basically how he's been doing, um, but I can't. I can't see it. So yeah, I'm in two minds. I don't want to. I don't really want to sell him. He's only twenty six. Um, but I I don't know how much I need him. Um, no. I'm going to do the sensible thing and I'm going to try, try again. Um, sorry, I've, I've, I've lost. There we go. I'm going to do the sensible thing just now. I don't need the money and I'm going to block that offer. I mean, I guess if someone gets injured, don't they then all of a sudden I will be needing them. And you can always play um in sancho's position as well if he gets injured as well um so yeah there's that um okay guys so this is where we this is where we've got to then so you've got spurs still top still one point ahead and united and liverpool still sort of a level peg and it's just my goal difference which i'll be annoyed if they manage to catch up 41 goals um in the remaining 16 games um so that's where we're at at the league um let's have a look again at the games coming up there's the games coming up so you've got um fulham next then you've got crystal palace and then you've got the second leg of the um uh of the league cup um which obviously ended 2-1 in the uh to ourselves in the first leg so you don't want to miss that 
um, and that'll be at the end of the next video so you don't want to miss any of that and the best way to make sure you don't miss uh, as you're well aware by now is to subscribe to the channel and to hit the note uh, the little bell so you get that notification when the channel goes live uh, when the video goes live and also guys give me a thumbs up if you enjoy these videos as I always ask as well and I'd especially appreciate it if you could leave me a wee bit of feedback so I know what you're thinking as well but uh, for now guys I'm gonna I am gonna leave it there for now and I'd just like to say whoever you are and whatever you are happy gaming and have a good day